And there's GH's Jessie. Her husband came back from the dead. She lost her baby to a heart ailment. She stood trial for murder. She survived a deadly disease. And that was all in the first couple of years with the show. My wife. who's now on or going off of One Life to Live. Today would have been Emily McLaughlin's birthday, and this year marked the publication of Portrait of a Soap Star, the Emily McLaughlin story, written by her adopted daughter, Mary Ann Anderson, and very welcome to Thank our you. show here. Thank you. Very glad to have you here. Now, let's uh, just explain something. You are her adopted daughter, and you weren't adopted till what? You were 22? Well, she started a bunch earlier, but there are a lot of complications. Mm -hmm. My natural mother was in a sanitarium, and then we had to get permission from my father, oh. who we had to find, and then we found out he was dead. So you met her when you were eight years old? Exactly. Wow. Exactly. So now, tell me, uh, what was it like? I, did you actually live with her and grow up with her along the way, or did you? Uh, I didn't live with her up until uh, the teens, but the early part, she used to come up to Northern California quite a bit and visit. She'd be doing uh, publicity in San Francisco or in the Bay Area and so in Fremont, and she'd come up there. Did she bring you to the uh, Yeah, she'd take set? me with her. There's you, and I guess, how old were you in this picture? Uh, that was 1969. Wow. Wow. Now, I remember when I worked on the show, I'd always remember her in that sweater, mm -hmm. that famous sweater, and her, her office, or rather her dressing room, was just uh, filled with portraits that people had drawn of her and everything. Mm -hmm. What is your most vivid memory of her doing the show? Uh, show memory. Um, it had to be the early days when Jessie lost her child, mm -hmm. lost Nancy. That's when I first was involved with it. But again, I didn't realize it was television. I thought it was real. Uh -huh. When I wrote to her, I wrote to her because I felt sorry for Jessie crying because she lost her child and I sent her a cartoon picture. But uh -huh. I thought Jessie was a real person. Sure. So I got a letter back from Emily McLaughlin at ABC and kind of went, who is this? But then I recognized the picture. It was Jessie. And she wanted to meet me, and that, that, that started it. Now, she spoke the first line of dialogue in General Hospital right. when it went on the air. Right, exactly. But prior to that, she was in uh, another soap, uh, Dr. Malone, was right. it? She played Dr. Eileen Seaton for a couple of years in New York. And then went right over to General Hospital, right. and there she stayed. Right. Wow. Okay, well, let's take a little commercial break, and then when we come back, we will be joined by John Berardino.